Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am W2Best and I make videos about tech travel and inspiration. Right now I am out traveling and I am in Barcelona for about 24 hours before I'm gonna continue on to Madrid. Right now I'm staying with my friends in their flat that is amazingly located right next to Sagrada Familia. So I was sitting here on this balcony having my morning coffee looking out over Sagrada Familia. But the most amazing thing about this is that there's only walking streets around. So there's no sounds from cars. It's amazing. I'm so used to everywhere in whatever city and whatever district of cities you're staying to always hear cars. And here you can sit on the balcony without even hearing a car. It's so good. I also get to hang out with this little guy while I'm filming this. So if you see someone coming up disturbing me, you know that it's probably this little dog that is joining me for this recording session. In this video, I wanted to quickly talk about the problems that I've had with my Dell Inspiron 15 7000 and its keyboard. Two days before I started traveling, my computer started having this weird issue with the keyboard. And I'm gonna explain a bit more thoroughly what is happening with the keyboard and what is the problem. When I shot the last video, I wasn't 100% sure of what the actual issue was. But I have tested out a bit more and realized that the problem is that the letters 1, Q, A, Z and Tab are not working most of the time. It is working sometimes. But it's very sporadic and it's very not trustworthy. So you know, both A and Z are letters that you use quite frequently, especially A. Trying to type even a short message without using the letter A is impossible. What I have done since this issue started becoming a thing, I actually usually copy an A and then when I want to write an A, I just paste an A instead of trying to write words without A's in them, which just seems like an impossible thing. When it comes to one, you can actually use the numpad instead, and you can type once with that. This is the issue that I'm having, and let's talk a little bit about what I did, and what Dell said, and what other people have said about this issue. The day when this happened, I wrote a message in the Dell tech support chat, and these guys, they were not very helpful, I didn't buy the extended warranty, I didn't buy the fix at your house warranty. So I only have a regular warranty, I'm gonna have to send the computer in, it will take roughly two weeks to get it back. Or I have the option to do a one-time upgrade to an in-home repair. So I think when I get back I might buy that one-time upgrade so that I can have a technician come out because then I can actually talk to the person that is gonna fix the computer and talk to him or her about the things that I have got to know from other people that are watching my videos here on the channel. Basically, a bunch of people have got back to me after I published that quality control video and said that this has been a thing with Dell Inspiron 15 7000 and that it's especially been mentioned in China that this was an issue with motherboards of computers that were released pre-July. I bought my Inspiron 15 in June, so I would be in the batch that have had these problems. I haven't seen anyone else in English speaking forums have these issues, but there was one person that had the issues that put a comment on the channel. After he installed a new RAM module, he had issues that certain letters started to fail while typing on the keyboard. But apparently in China, there's been a number of people that have had this issue and that exchanged the keyboard several times around, but the issue just kept coming back. When changing the motherboard to a new one, that's when they were able to permanently fix that issue. So I think I'm just going to claim with Dell to change the motherboard and see if that fixes the issue. Most likely with an in-home technician and if that happens I will for sure make a video about it. I think it's safe to say that the solution of copying and pasting an A every time you want to write it is not very feasible, uh, especially since I want to type a lot right now, because I started writing my first ever book. I don't know anything about writing a book, but I figured I just have to try it, and I'm writing a book about my purchase stop year that I had during 2018. What led up to me having a purchase stop year and what it created in me during that year. To be able to type while I'm out on this trip, instead I have, of course, my keyboard of choice, which is Logitech K380. 
If you haven't tried this keyboard, it's an amazing little keyboard that I can definitely recommend. It's small, it connects to three devices and you can choose between those devices right here. And it also has this really nice click to it. It's just like an overall super nice experience to use this keyboard while traveling. And I'm using it together with my Roostan and my MX Master 2S a lot. Have you had this issue with your Dell Inspiron 15 or any other issue that you won't let other people know so that we can all be better at quality controlling our laptops? Please share your experiences in the comments below and we can have a discussion about what's going on and what are the issues that are coming up with these computers now that they have been on the market for a few months. I'm W2Best, I make videos about tech travel and inspiration and I would love if you want to subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of stuff coming out over the upcoming weeks when I'm out traveling for six weeks all around Europe. Have a really nice day and then I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!